and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Welcome back. Welcome to episode three of the Legacy Podcast. That's what I'm calling this podcast. Love because it. Because all, all that I do is about legacy. So my guest today is Nick Stella, the Rise CEO. Uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I am... Can you hear me good? Yeah. Uh, just put it like pretty close to your face. Very close. All <laughs> yeah, right, good. there we go. Uh, 31 years old, CEO of Rise Supplements. I started this company about four years ago. I had another company before it. Um, I'm not going to go into that story, but you know, we'll get into more of what's happened with Rise over the past four years. But me as a person, I'm an ex NCA wrestler, so that's kind of where I got into dietary supplements. Yeah. Um, always worked out. My wife works out too. I have three kids, uh, mm-hmm. two boys and a girl. I uh, live here in Prosper, Texas, and. That's the short background on me as a person. Yeah. Did you have any jobs before, after, or like after wrestling? Did you have any jobs leading up to Rise? Yeah. Besides so, the other supplement company? So I got my degree in website management and marketing. And that's kind of where I got into this entrepreneurial life. And I yeah. started at Low T Center. So it was a testosterone rejuvenation center. And I started making websites for people. And that led me into kind of getting into my first company. Yeah. It was called Fit Life Fashion. It was basically an accessories company. Okay. And that kind of took off, and I worked for Shreds for a little bit. Do you yeah. know Shred Supplements? I do not. So for whoever's listening, Shred Supplements was really big on the Instagram day and the influencer day. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of almost like now how TikTok's big. Yeah. It's when Instagram just started blowing up, and there was no algorithm. Mm-hmm. So I worked at Shreds for about four months, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Can I swear on her? Yeah. No, <laughs> Fuck it. You're good. <laughs> I'm going to do it for myself, and I started Fit Life, uh, ran it for three years, built it up to about two point four million dollars, sold it, took all that money and put it into Rise. Wow, entrepreneur yeah. right there. That's where we are. So, today. what what made you start Rise? Um, what made you get away from the company you had before to start Rise? So, the last company I had, Fit Life, we were kind of pigeonholed with. We couldn't put stuff on clothing. Um, there were some trademark issues. We had, uh, have you ever seen those dumbbell bracelets? Yeah. So we started that category. Oh. We started the necklaces, the bracelets, the weight plates. Oh. Um, and personally, I thought it was stupid, but yeah. it was a really good, it was during the days of drop shipping. Mm-hmm. So it was a really good product where it was an impulsive buy. Yeah. So we were really good at getting in front of people and then they would buy it. Yeah. So I think it was, uh, it's about almost four years ago this month. I was like, you know what? I want to get, I take supplements. I love supplements. I work out. It's a big part of my life. Ex NCA wrestler. We took supplements in uh, college. We would take, uh, we'd go to Walmart and get the, I can't remember what the protein is called, but the black and the orange yeah. protein. Yeah. Uh, whatever we could afford. And with wrestling, I don't know if you know, but you lose a lot of weight during the season. Yeah. A ton then, of weight ton of weight so then in the off season we would try to get as big as possible as quick as possible so we would take pre-workout we would experiment with it back in the uh no explode days and the Mm. super pump days was there a lot of like pre-workouts that you took that have banned substances there were then that's what i figured because Um, yeah yeah, there were a lot fda cracked down and the quality just wasn't good it's not like what it is now yeah um and it wasn't regulated. Yeah. There was no regulation in the market. So there was more. There's more science behind the ones now than there is. There was. There's more studies. You got to think about it. That was ten years ago. I yeah. graduated ten years ago. So about ten years ago, we were taking these supplements and they weren't really studied. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's where my passion for it came. And I always worked out after. I always try to stay fit per mm-hmm. se. But it's not like my whole life. I like to integrate it, and that's why Rise is more of like a lifestyle brand. Exactly. It's made for everybody, but it's really good products. Yeah, so amazing products. That's where the look and the feel kind of came from. Yeah. It's more than just like, you'll see some brands out there that are very bodybuilder driven. Mm-hmm. I would say Rise, if you take it properly, you will get bigger, and yes. it will accomplish those goals, but it's also for the everyday person. Mm-hmm. It's for people that are just trying to work out for the masses, I yeah. would say. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see that through, like, all of the athletes because not all of us are trying to become massive 
mass monsters, honestly. No. Uh, but pe- so a lot of the influencers are more based around like content, lifestyle, but we're all still working towards the fitness goal. Well, if you look at it too, you look at, we had Conor McGregor mm-hmm. first year. Um, I mean, he's just, he, he is Jack now, but he's, yeah. he's a athlete and he would take the protein and he would take our core line. So we're going to get into that later. Why we have a core line and we get a lot of, yeah. uh, we get a lot of questions on this line because it is underdosed in certain things, but it mm-hmm. is for a purpose, yeah. right? Two highly different pre-workouts. You got your black line, which is an intense line. And then mm-hmm. you got your white line, which is more of an atropic uh, focus formula for those people yeah. that are athletes or doing cardio yeah. or endurance. It's not meant to give you a crazy pump. So they're for different purposes too. And I think that's what kind of differentiates Rise. Yeah, We fit everybody. Mm-hmm. It's not just like, here's one pre-workout. You know, I say there has to be this much citrulline in it. There's this much citrulline, take it. And everyone's doing something different. Yeah. So there has to be things to cater to them. And that's what Rise does really well. Yeah. So let's get into... Want to jump right into it? Yeah. So there was... Uh, not necessarily like slander, but uh, on the Project Blackout, uh, Jack Detalion talked about how the, the citrulline, there was no citrulline in it, right? Right. Well, I don't know per se, but we get that a lot. So two things give you a pump. Yeah. Two main things. It's either citrulline or nitrates. And if you look at our black line, we'll look at it together. We have two different forms of nitrates in this. We have betaine nitrate and sodium nitrate. Okay. So other companies use nitrates, but yeah. they, if, if you don't see as NO3T next to it, they're yeah. illegally using it. Okay. So there's this guy, Ron Kramer. Mm-hmm. He works for, he owns Thermal Life. He has the patent to nitrates. Yeah. So the good thing about us, we always use patented ingredients. So if you mm-hmm. look there, what's it say next to it? Uh, the little copyright NO3T. thing. Yep. So copyright R. <laughs> copyright R, yes. Uh, so nitrates give you a great pump. And the beauty of nitrates mm-hmm. is it works the same for everybody. Yeah. So it kind of jumps the whole whole precursor stage. Yeah. And it jumps right to giving you a pump, mm-hmm. right? Which is citrulline. And before I go into this talk, I react better to citrulline. Yeah. I personally like citrulline. Mm-hmm. I think I um, react better to it too. So citrulline has to go through a process before it starts giving you a pump. Yeah. In, in layman terms, we're going to break this down for... And then we'll, if you guys follow my yeah, TikTok. Yeah, break it down for dummies like me. Right, right. Who, if you follow my TikTok, I'm going to get more uh, scientific into it. But for now, we're just going to talk about like, what it does. Yeah. So it has, it has to go through a process and it's got to get broken down. And that process happens based on how much ENOS it's called. It's an enzyme actually in your body that is mm-hmm. going to break the citrulline down okay. and go through this process and, and turn it into giving you a pump basically. Yeah. So everyone reacts differently to it. Mm-hmm. So me and you aren't going to react the same to it, but nitrates, everyone's going to react the same to it because it basically, layman terms, cuts straight to, it almost skips that process and mm-hmm. is going to give you that pump right away. Yeah. So uh, with the nitrates, it says with the pump caps, the pump caps have the citrulline in it. it am I wrong? But Because so I, I know a lot of athletes pair the blackout pre-workout with the pump caps. So these my, are old pump caps. By my the way. perfect stack was this. Okay. Because what you're going to get, and and another big difference, guys, between ours. Um, and I have a lot of people saying this, like, oh, there's only six grams of citrulline. So this is the one, and it is citrulline malate. Malic acid helps absorb citrulline. Mm-hmm. Um, back when we made this, it just happened to be the way you would put it on a label. Now things have evolved, and people uh, split it out. They might put four grams of citrulline, and two grams of malic acid. So if you see this label, that's why it is that way. It's just an older label. It's just the way we do it. Our new pre-workout that's coming out that you know about mm-hmm. is split out differently. Yeah. But um, it's definitely not made for your person that's going to go kill the gym. Mm-hmm. It's not made for a bodybuilder. Let's put it at that. Yeah, way. made for the mass monsters going for. Just- it's my every day. Mm-hmm. And I take this, and another thing about Rise is it's meant to stack together. So this is going, if you add this to it, your pump's going to be insane because you're going to have the citrulline, and then you're going to have the nitrates, and before you're going to have the glycerol, but now you know we're going away, and we're actually putting um, pep form citrulline. So it's a concentrated form of citrulline and a pep form peptide um, 
in it. So now it can stack with either of these because it's going to have the nitrates. Is and that the one stronger or stronger than regular citrulline or? It like is. It's more concentrated. So it is going to be stronger. Yeah. Sweet. sweet. Um, which is great though now because what we were running into, a lot of people were stacking the uh, blackout with this. And then you're just getting an absorbent amount of nitrates. You don't need yeah. that much nitrates. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to have the betaine nitrate. And we're going to have the citrulline. So this is going to be a monster stack. Yeah. And then if this, so again, I didn't finish my thought. This has 275 milligrams of caffeine in it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So another thing that I heard about the Project Blackout was the crazy high amounts of caffeine. And me, I mean, not like crazy high. I know a lot of companies have 410, I think, total. Yes. Uh, 410. I know I personally don't take a full scoop when I have the project blackout. I probably have three quarter quarters. scoops and that's don't, isn't that why a lot of you recommend a lot of beginners have take the, half, a scoop. half a scoop and or, or the, the core, core pre-workout. Yeah. That's why we'll recommend that. And um, there's nothing wrong with half scooping this. Yeah. Um, it is 375 hand anhydrous. So it's going to 370, that's going to hit you right away. But it also has something, guys, called VitaSure in it. And VitaSure is going to give you a sustained release over six hours. Yeah. So you're not going to crash in the gym. Mm-hmm. So you're basically going to have a sustained type of effect throughout it. And then we put something called theobromine in it. Okay. It's actually one molecule different than caffeine. So it's actually going to kind of latches onto it. And grab that RTD real quick, too. Let's talk about that. It's going to latch onto it, and it's going to intensify that caffeine effect. But it's not going to make you feel, not that, the theobromine oh, in here. No, no, no. But it's not going to make you feel too cracked out. And that's one mm-hmm. thing that we get a lot is, you know, I took it, there's a lot of caffeine, and I didn't get too cracked out on it. Because yeah. there is no legal stimulants in it. Mm-hmm. It's all compliant. Another thing, we're manufacturing an FDA Level 3 certified facility. And that's why we pick these ingredients. Well, our pre-workouts will never go over 400 milligrams mm-hmm. because per the FDA and CDC, we can't go over that. Yeah. So that's what you're going to see with that. So are athletes like able to take this like if they were going to play college football? And Yes. So there are certain things that are WADA compliant. All of our stuff is. Yeah. Now you need to be careful though. So I'm going to preface this and say you can only take so much caffeine at once. Yes. In college, right? So... If you were to take the blackout and get drug tested immediately, you would pop the you you would fail. But as far as a yeah. ingredient standpoint, mm-hmm. if you take it and then hours later you get drug tested, you're fine. Yeah, I mean that would that, it's the same with a Red Bull. You can't that, take Red Bull and then get drug tested. This right is a natural sub, su- uh, supplement. If you were to drink an absurd amount of coffee, you would fail the drug test too. Yes. So what makes the RTDs different than the uh, the blackout? The, the blackout. All right, so this has or if there in is it. any. So this oh, is a citrulline base. Citrulline. So RTD ready to go. Basically, it's in gyms. Uh, it's basically you walk in, you crack it open, you drink it. Yeah. You don't have to mix up the powder. Um, this one actually has dynamine in it. So dynamine is going to attach on your caffeine, and it basically intensifies the effects right away. Okay. So have you taken this? Yes, I. I def- so I did not know, like me personally, I did not know there was a difference between the blackout and the yeah. RTDs and the RTDs do hit because I would take these before leg day and leg day is my hardest day. And I always just felt like more of a, so wow. like dumbed down, like caffeine takes a while, 15 to 30 minutes to kind of hit you. Yeah. This dynamine, this isn't science back. This is my opinion. Hit you within five to 10 minutes. So you're going to feel like this insane, quick rush of energy and then your caffeine is going to hit you and it's going to level you off through your whole workout. Yeah. So uh, going back to the pump caps, are there any new products that you can talk about that are on the way? Because I know you have the sample size packs for yep. uh, all, all the proteins or just cinnamon toast? So we have cinnamon toast and we have uh, chocolate peanut butter coming. Okay. And um, we have, so the new pump caps are coming. They're called pump cap max. Yeah. And then we also have a new flavor, Blackout, mm-hmm. which is a licensed flavor. Big name. I can't, I'm not going to say it yep. on here, but uh, big name. Get excited for it <laughs> is all I can say. And it's going to roll out into Vitamin Shop nationwide. Yeah. So we're about, about six weeks away from that. 
Wow. So you're going to see the new flavor drop and then nationwide vitamin shop roll out. Sweet, sweet. Yep. Um, is So I know a lot, I get a lot of DMs asking about why they're like, why is nothing in stock? And I know you probably get just as many All the DMs. Time. Just as many DMs. So can you kind of clarify for people like why it's hard like right now to have stuff in stock? So so two parts. So let's start with COVID. Yeah. Um, so if you look around the industry, you look at some of our competitors, they're out too. So there is a shortage nationwide of bottles, adhesive to put on the labels, and ingredients. So we were brought... So that's one part. Two is demand. We've been growing like crazy. You know that. Um, we sell out quicker, but now lead times are higher because of the shortage of materials. Yeah. So it's harder to get. Mm -hmm. So we were approached, and basically our manufacturer said, would you like to manufacture and get some pre-workout and stuff in next week? Or would mm -hmm. you like to wait a few weeks and have an inf a massive influx in inventory so you don't run out again. Yeah. So we took the approach to wait. We're, we're worried about the future. Mm -hmm. We have our new warehouse coming, guys. We have a 20,000-square-foot uh, warehouse with a 5,000-square-foot rise gym it's coming. going to be amazing. I'm so excited for it. So we have that I'm coming. I'm going to be in Dallas a lot. <laughs> yes, it's going to be great. Uh, if you guys don't know and you're watching, we have the Rise House. Um, it's essentially for influencers and especially rise athletes to come in and out and stay out so you guys can stay mm -hmm. there take full advantage of the gym we're going to be doing podcasts like this we're going to start our rise and grind podcast um so we have a lot of cool stuff coming but our our focus has been inventory yeah and um as much as i'd love to say i wish we just rolled it out in a week or two yeah it's a lot smarter doing it the right way mm -hmm. and we also found a backup manufacturer yeah so if we get in these pinches again we can run product in a week or two. Yeah. So that's that's the genesis of it. I mean, COVID is really starting to hit businesses lately. Oh, yeah. It's it's just the aftershock. It's not even just products, too. It's hard to find good workers. Mm -hmm. um, nobody wants to work right now. I know. And it's uh, we're running into that as well. So if you guys have hit our customer service, um, again, we're growing very quick. Yeah. Uh, we've been How many hiring. countries are... You We're in 29 to, countries, 29 um, countries, distributed in 29 countries everywhere from, you know, Mexico to Australia to New Zealand mm -hmm. to Canada, everywhere you can imagine, Colombia. Yeah. Um, we're about to start Nationwide and Vitamin Shop. We, we've had the biggest PO I've seen. So Vitamin Shop, we have basically a wall. It's not necessarily a wall. It's like a rolling cart. Have you seen those? When yes. you walk in, yes. right when you walk in. So we're going to be on there. Yeah. So the whole cart's going to be full of Rise products with our licensed product that's coming. That's awesome. So we've been um, we've been really focusing on trying to perfect supply chain for mm -hmm. the future. Yeah. So you guys can have these great products. It's playing 4D chess out here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and we want to get new products out. Um, mm -hmm. So once we can get these streamlined, we can start working on new products, great mm -hmm. products. Yeah. So... Uh, there are a lot of beginners who don't know about supplements. What would you recommend and why would you recommend, or what, like, give us a beginner stack for supplements. So I get asked this a lot. What is the age? Yeah. What, what oh, age? Oh, 100%. Uh, you want to go through both? For me, it depends on, uh, like the supplement. So I didn't start taking pre-workout until I was 16. And I won't. So we'll start with if you're under 18. Yeah. If you're under 18, first of all, obviously ask a doctor, mm -hmm. consult your parents. But yeah. I would not get into pre workout yet. You don't need it. Yeah, you really don't. Protein, very important. That also goes for energy drinks, too. Like, <laughs> also Bang Energy got like 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's yeah, basically yeah. Stay away pre workout. From that. Yes. You don't need it. And it's trash. Uh, you can learn from, <laughs> you can learn from <laughs> us with our uh, tolerance is just shot. Mm -hmm. It's just. Just wait. Um, protein, though. Protein is probably one of the most vital, important things. So when you're on a diet, you have to hit so many grams of protein per body fat, mm -hmm. typically. You're going to base a big macro off carbohydrates and protein, right? Yes. So protein is very important. If you're on the go, it is to supplement your diet. Mm -hmm. Again, it's called supplements for that reason. It's not going to... None of these things are going to be miracle drugs mm -hmm. and make you jacked. You need to hard work. You need to work hard. Yes. And you need to supplement. You need to eat right. Mm -hmm. And say you can't eat all day. So for me, 
I can't get five meals in a day. Mm-hmm. So I'm putting two shakes in to yeah. get that amount of protein I need every day. That's what it's made for. Um, mm-hmm. So protein, if you're older, a pre-workout is yeah. very important so you can get an extra pump because after you work all day or go to school all day. Mm-hmm. like Or wake up very, very early. Yeah, you're not going to get a good workout in. Mm-hmm. And when you don't get a good workout in, you're not going to get as much blood to your muscles. You're not going to get as much nutrients. You're not going to get that great workout in. Yeah. So for both the caffeine kick and to get more blood shuttle to your muscles, grab a pre-workout. So uh, I know there's creatine is a like a lot of parents think, oh, creatine, make your hair fall out, <clears throat> all of this bad stuff. What? But tell us a little bit why that. So creatine is one of the most studied ingredients ever in dietary supplements. Um, It's it just, there was one study that came out about, there mm-hmm. is a, and I'm not going to get into the, the, the study or anything, but there yeah. is a certain hormone that's released on creatine and high levels of this, if your body can induce hair loss. Yeah. But that's rare, right? Like mm-hmm. it could happen, but it's rare. You have to have a high levels so I wouldn't worry about it, but mm-hmm. creatine, yes, for any age, is one of the most important supplements besides protein mm-hmm. for gaining muscle or any kind of performance athlete. Yeah. So I get, I do get a lot of questions about like, what age can I start creatine? And a lot of the kids who DM me are around fourteen to sixteen. I still say wait till you're eighteen to sixteen. That's kind of my range where I say oh, it's okay to take supplements. That's when I took them, but generally it's 18. I'll tell anyone 18, just because you don't need to start depending on stuff yet. For sure. Um, I'm big on hitting your natural like yeah. genetics, like people that jump on, say, gear. Mm-hmm. Um, hit your natural like genetics before you jump on these things. Yeah. And, and when you're 14, 15, 16, your body's still developing, mm-hmm. you don't need to start throwing this kind of stuff in. Yeah. Protein's fine. Protein, Protein is fine. It's fine. But don't start throwing in creatine and pump caps and, and testosterone boosters and, yeah. and whatever else is out there. Just You don't need mm-hmm. it yet. Yeah, for sure. So if there, this is a kind of like a would you rather question. If there was one supplement that you could take. Oh boy. What would it be? You can't have any other supplement. Forever. Forever. And ever. Uh, for me, it's going to be pre-workout. Okay. Um, reason being is I, if I had to, I could eat enough and force yeah. myself, but pre-workout for me, I work a lot. Yeah. Again, I have three kids. I have a wife. I have a house. I, I have to upkeep my house. The man never sleeps. Yeah. So I don't sleep much. <laughs> so pre-workout, most important for me. Mm-hmm. Um, second is going to be protein. Yeah. So how do you, um, balance since you do work a lot? Uh, how do you balance the gym, work, family life? What's the what's your little secret if, if so, you have one? I don't, but balancing the gym has been hard. Yeah. Um, I have not been able to hit the goals I wanted to just because mm-hmm. I work so much. But yeah. that's why I'm putting a gym in our new warehouse. Yeah. It's important to me for two things, content and myself. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I bought a Peloton and... yeah. If I don't get a workout in, like today, if I don't go work out, I'll hit the Peloton when the kids go to bed. Yeah. And then I talk to my distributors at night on the phone. I'll mm-hmm. just text them and call them while I'm on the bike. Yeah. It's a lot of multitasking. There's and always a way you can get it in. Yep. And if I can't, then I'll just rip some pre-workout and I'll go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. Maybe um, a late night pump. Yeah, right. So it just depends. It really depends. Yeah. Okay. So since this is called the Legacy Podcast, we got six minutes left. Uh, I want to know what is Nick Stella's, what do you want your legacy to be when you die? What do you want people to remember you for? Um, the obvious answer is my children. Yeah. They're my legacy. Um, two boys, especially, of course I love my daughter, but, yeah. um, I want them to carry on. So they're the only Stella's left. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want that to be carried on that yeah. legacy. Uh, but for they're sure. my legacy. They're my one and only, but in the short term, um, rise i put my life into it like it's not something guys that i wake up and i let other people do Mm -hmm. i'm very hands-on as you know for sure and always in the office the warehouse if you haven't seen any of our videos the warehouse is literally right outside and there's videos of nick getting hands-on working 
if I have to, I'll come in at night, I'll ship. Like, this is my baby for now. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people take that for granted because there's a lot of other supplement companies out there that outsource everything. Yeah. And don't do it themselves and mm-hmm. don't care. They have other people formulate. Yeah. Everything you see is just, I want this to last forever. I want this to be, I want Rise to be the biggest supplement company in the world. Badass. That's it. Badass. Well, I think we're 25 minutes Is there in. anything else you want to ask? Uh, let's So check. let's go over, you know, <clears throat> guys, there are a lot of other products out there. Yeah. We can and go over. Let's go over. Uh, uh, let's go over. Which one did you just get in stock? Uh, Vita Focus. Vita Focus. But I want to uh, talk about it in the industry as a whole. Oh, yeah. Um, go for it. There are other supplement companies, and I'm not saying Rise is the only company to take. There's other great companies out there. And if you're going to get them, though, make sure they're manufactured in a good facility. Make sure they don't have any banned ingredients in them. Yeah, You know, people sure. were on um, Dark, Dark Energy. Energy. Mm-hmm. You see how it just got banned? Yeah. It got raided. Their warehouse got raided. I made a video like, DHMA is not good for you. DMA, it's, it's not good for you. Mm-hmm. Don't. I know you might think it's cool now, but when you get to my age, I'm 31. Yeah. If you consume that and keep consuming it, you're going to have long-term health risks. So that's where it comes in dangerous. Just make sure you're doing your research and getting a good, reputable company. Yeah. And I don't care what you pick as long as you're putting something safe in your body. Mm-hmm. Safety so first. you can even ask me. If you have another company that you're thinking about taking, hit me up. I'll give you honest, real advice. Because mm-hmm. so that's the way it is. I'm, I, I care about you guys and reaching your goals. Yeah. Versus putting some shit in your body. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't be doing this podcast if no. didn't care about the consumer. That's it. Mm -hmm. But of course, pick rise. Yeah. Pick rise. Uh, so I personally haven't taken a Vita focus. Do you want to go through like a little bit about like what that is? Vita focus. Grab that bottle right there. It's right. You see it right behind that RTD. Boom. So Vita focus is great. It's a full fledged multivitamin. Yeah. So it's going to get you all your vitamins, minerals. You take two caps a day. You get all your vitamins in. Uh, a lot of people are deficient. Again, guys, it's to supplement what you're deficient in. Yeah. If you don't eat fish, if you're a vegan, and you don't yeah. get iron um, from beef or, or whatever you're deficient in, this will help supplement it. Yeah. And I strongly believe with diets now, a lot of people are deficient in a lot of these oh, vitamins. For sure. I am. Yeah. I'm sure you are too. Yeah. Um, that keto diet had me all out of whack yep. for like a whole week. It'll do that. And then... What's beautiful about it, though, is we have this thing called Cognizant in it, which Mm -hmm. is another, let's talk about that real quick. It's another main ingredient in our white formula, and that's a big focus ingredient. So what I find on this white formula first is you get laser focused, and that's not from the caffeine. Yeah. Somewhat from the caffeine, but there's also Cognizant in it, which is a very good nootropic, very expensive, very good. It's very hard to find right now. There's a big shortage of it, but Mm -hmm. that's also in here. So this isn't going to give you a huge nootropic buzz right away. It's a yeah. longevity thing. The longer you take it, it's going to build up in your system. The cognizant is going to get there, and you're going to be sharper from it. Mm-hmm. And that's where we came up with the name Vita Focus because, you know, something you take in the morning, every morning, you should take it every day. Yeah. And cognizant is really good for your brain health every day. So mm-hmm. I wanted to add something unique in it to yeah. enhance just the product. So if people were here, give me one second. I'm going to restart the people were to oh yeah if people because i know there you again get a lot of dms about this i get a couple every so often how would someone go about starting with wanting to become an affiliate with rise so we do have an affiliate program we actually a lot of these guys actually work their way up if you look at jay um i get asked more how do i be an athlete yeah and um it's hard definitely it's it's uh, even yourself, I didn't reach out to you right away. Like it's mm-hmm. very, we're very selective, but there is a way to do it. Um, and that's in the affiliate program. Yeah. He worked in the affiliate program. Jay did. He worked his way up through sales and he got noticed that way. Yeah. That's how he became an athlete. It took him a year. Yeah. We actually talked about it last night and yeah. saying he was like, oh, if you told me a year ago that I was going to be out here at the Rise Content House. I want to believe you. Right. He worked really, really fucking hard. He really did. Um, he came up to me at LA Fitness mm-hmm. in Buffalo. Yeah. Introduced he, himself. And ever since we've. Yeah. I just noticed him. If, and that's another thing. Stand out to me, guys. Like, 
hit me up. I'm very active on Instagram as much as I can be. I will miss yeah. some, I, of course, yeah. but, um, as much as you can at rise C underscore CEO. That's it. And, uh, tag me in pictures. Just mm -hmm. keep doing it. Yeah. I'm going to notice you. Mm -hmm. It's not just about sales. It's about, and first and foremost, if you don't live the lifestyle we live, yeah. you're not going to be an athlete. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. it. So how was that, uh, initial, if, would you have believed that Jay would be out here in Dallas if you, that year ago? If that didn't happen? No, no, no. Would I a mean, year ago did I when I met him? A little, yeah. a little scrawny Jay in the LA yeah. Fitness Gym. Uh no. 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 I didn't. Crazy how um, that works yeah. out. He um if you would have asked me three months after that, yeah. Really? I had my eye on him. But um that's the that was the first step. And make it a virtual handshake. Like introduce yourself in my messages. Yeah. So like if I don't know who you are, how the hell am I gonna put you on my team? And my man is busy. Yeah, I mean, fuck. You got to so, stand out. Yeah, stand out, get to know. And I mean, it's really important to connect with our athletes too. Yeah. Like, if you're collaborating and trying to connect with the athletes, I'm going to get noticed. You're going to get noticed that way too. Mm -hmm. What do you think the biggest uh, thing that you value in an athlete or an affiliate is? Loyalty, which Loyalty. Uh, has been something that's. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I've been catching a little bit of heat for, like, yeah. um, if you don't want to be on the team, get the fuck off. Yeah. Period. For real. I don't need, I don't need you. Mm -hmm. We don't need you. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and I feel like I, I, we instill that in all of us, all mm -hmm. of our athletes, like you don't want someone here that doesn't want to be here either. Yeah. You got to love rise. Right. You guys pour everything you have into it. Mm -hmm. Why should there be people on the team that are doing things that don't support rise and rise's mission yeah so that's the number one thing i look forward to is there anything else that you like really value out of athletes loyalty stand out to me so just what we talked about really yeah. i mean and like even if you look at justin's journey mm -hmm. like you don't need to be jacked like yeah justin lost what 200 pounds I 150 think pounds, 120 maybe, pounds, maybe whatever. 160, 100 180. Pounds. You lost yeah. over 100 pounds. It's a lot of weight. Yeah. Like you, you, you lost a person off his body. Lost a person. It's gone. And that's like, uh, we've had some videos going around about that too. Like you don't need to be jacked like, mm -hmm. or on steroids or huge or yeah. you just need to live the lifestyle, like better yourself. Mm -hmm. Even if that's like, like a Peloton person, like yeah. that, hits the bike every day and doesn't lift a single weight, but has a healthy mind, like cares about their body. That's what yeah. rise is about. And so if you're not, if you're not working out and you're not posting content about that and you're not, if you're out smoking and drinking every day, yeah, I'm probably not going to notice you and pick mm -hmm. you up. Right. Yeah. Um, if you're out caring about yourself, if you're loyal, mm -hmm. if you stand out, um, spontaneous, if you care, if you mm -hmm. buy the products, make sure you buy yeah. the products too. Like, Reps the products. Yeah, there's a lot of affiliates out there that, and they want to start as an affiliate and they never buy the products. Like, how are you gonna? Yeah. How do you know how our products are? For real. So when we reach out to anyone, so like Noel or anyone, mm -hmm. um, they try the products first. Yeah. Like if you don't like the product, how can you? Probably like, shouldn't promote be something. on the team, right? Yeah. Um. So yeah, like make sure you like the product before you promote it. That's mm -hmm. that's huge, and that's why we give affiliates the biggest discount code you can get yeah so they can try the products and that's a 25 percent 25 discount. yep yep for yep. affiliates uh so uh going back to a little bit about what you said you don't have to be a bodybuilder uh how many at about how many athletes are there right now and like athletes or affiliates or both uh break go, it out with both yeah, yeah, uh athletes we have both. about Ah oh, man, I'd have to count, but 35, 30 would you say? 30 to 40? Yeah, probably um, something around there. We're building our girls' team, which yeah. has been great. Mm -hmm. um, they really, they're good at, like, recipes and yeah, in a different aspect than the males because they're not bodybuilders. They're not yeah. so into getting a pump, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I really enjoy watching their content. And then affiliates, we have about, probably about 2,000 active. Wow. Yeah. Growing. Um, which is great. I mean, we did the uh, payout yesterday, which is another thing, guys. You get paid mm -hmm. to sell the product, ten uh, percent. 
Uh, so if you can go out and sell, you get 10% of your sales. And uh, I think we paid like 20% of those. 400 people got paid wow. on the 15th. So wow. you know, people are spreading the word. They're making money to buy their products again. And that's what it's the affiliate thing. Like, don't expect to get rich yeah. from being an affiliate. Um, we hear a siren out there. <laughs> don't expect to get rich, but um, it's a good thing to to reinvest in your products. Like. Mm-hmm. If you're buying them every month anyways, you can probably make enough to at least get your products every month. And then you're going to work your way up to maybe be a sponsored athlete. Yeah. So that's when you start how many uh, straight bodybuilders have you had? Because I know. Well, we have Noel. <laughs> yes. Now who's an IFBB heavyweight Daddy bodybuilder. Noel. Huge. Um, Massive. Yep. We had Sante Aragon. Um, mm-hmm. Greg Doucette. Yep. Um, Greg's starting his own supplement company. Yep. Uh, he mm-hmm. was with us for like a year and a half. Um, who else do we have? Joey Swole, even though he wasn't really, uh, yeah. I don't think he competed, but, um, he was, he's huge. Yeah. He was massive. <laughs> yeah. Um, year round too. I don't know how he does it. Jeremy Buendia, four time mm-hmm. Mr. Olympia. Uh, we had him for a short stint. Um, and then he, he's having a baby. He had a baby. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've had a lot over the years. Is there um, is there a so this just popped into my head kind of randomly since you you were came from an athletic background did you play any sports besides wrestling? So, nah, yes and no. I played hockey for like four years before, okay. but um, I He's, poured my life into wrestling. I was yeah. a four time All American national finalist in high school. Yeah, uh, four year starter in college. Um, so I definitely poured my life into that and. Yeah. That's ultimately how I went to school on a scholarship, met my wife there, and that's how I ended up in Dallas. Yeah. She's from here, and we moved back down here. So if you, I know there's a lot of younger athletes out here. If you're starting out as an athlete, which ones would you pick for an athlete more So it's probably the same. Like, creatine is going to be important. Yeah. Um, but also your protein recovery, BCAs, mm-hmm. which we don't have on the table right now, but... Yeah. BCAs are super important, especially with ours, because uh, we have coconut, organic coconut water in it, mm-hmm. so it's going to keep you hydrated. Yeah. Which would have been really important for my wrestling days to stay hydrated. Yeah, for sure. Um, Hydration, definitely a key. Yeah, really any athlete, that if you're football, so, anything We're, we're going to give Jay a little second to get Come on, Jay. out of the room. Stealing my keys. Oh, that's pretty nice. What did you say? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just heard the headphones. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you want to stay hydrated in any sport. Um, mm-hmm. the multivitamin super important because I know high school kids aren't getting their nutrients in. for sure. Especially no eating school lunch. Yeah. No way. Bears. So I don't even think I ate breakfast so many times just going to school. Never. I just get up, wait for lunch. Yeah. I barely eat lunch. Like mm-hmm. who knows where you're running to Chipotle or yeah. trust me, you ain't getting your nutrients into Chipotle. Unfortunately, we all want to believe that. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, multivitamin is going to be super, super beneficial. Mm-hmm. Would you recommend, pre? I mean, you might have said it, but would you recommend the pre-workout for them? Uh, like I said, wait till you're 18. Yeah. Um, college, yes. Yes. Yes, for 100%. weight training. 100%. Um, so when I was in college, I would take a test booster, a natural test booster like yeah. ours, um, and I would take pre-workout before our lifting sessions. I wouldn't before wrestling. There's no need to, but yeah. yeah. So uh, I actually get questions about is – the test booster, that's yep. a lot of people think that's not a natural supple- or supplement just because of like a lot of gear and stuff is testosterone based. I, I don't know a whole lot about steroids. Like so, I don't really care. <laughs> so you're right there. Uh, the test booster, ours is a natural herbal testosterone yeah. booster. So it's going to boost your free flowing testosterone, natural testosterone. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not going to be anything crazy though. Like, yeah. Do not take it and expect like synthetic results, like super human jumps. Like, yeah. If you're at like 400, you might jump to like 480, 490. You're still going to make it's still good to supplement in your everyday, mm-hmm. um, but it's not going to be crazy. Again, it's a supplement. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not going to be anything like jumping on gear. Yeah. For sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you think uh, the hardest part about running Rise is? Um, Besides the stock. Well, expectations. Okay. Um, you know, we have a lot of athletes that have different expectations. We have yeah. um, retailers that have expectations. Mm-hmm. I have 
supply chain, employees, the, the list goes on. And, and, and running the whole thing, like I probably manage, talk to, interact with 100 people. Um, and it's and it's very well on a weekly basis, oh, right? Okay, yeah. Um, and it's very hard. Like I really want to have a personal touch with all of you guys for sure. But I'm so busy that yeah. I, I try my best. But that's that's kind of where I wish I had more hands to yeah. reach out to every single athlete more and see how they're doing and see how I can help. And you still you still do that because I I, do. Got, I got a text uh, not too long ago saying, "Hey," and I immediately just thought I was in trouble or something because I did not expect this text. I said, what's up, Nick? He's just checking in on how, how you're doing. We haven't talked yep. in a minute. But yeah, definitely hands know, on. I want to I be like a family aspect. Again, mm-hmm. loyalty is super important. And um, if you want to be here, I want to show you that I want you here. Yeah. So it goes both ways. Like, I don't just want you here and think you're stuck here or – unenjoyable or anything like that. I want to try to make it as most pleasant as possible. So that's it's kind of what I try to reach out to do. And then I have another guy starting who we can talk about on this podcast. He's yeah, from my uh, 10 years in the industry. Uh, he was with, you probably haven't heard of him, but muscle sport. I don't think I have. So it was more of a brick and mortar brand. Okay. Um, so he's our vice president now and he's very, 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 very bad. When, at when does he come in again? This comes in Thursday. Thursday. His name's okay. Greg Helton. Um, great guy. So he's going to help take a lot of things off my plate so I can do more of that stuff that I want to do. Yeah. And he's going to help do it. You know, yeah. And help reach out to you guys and see yeah. what you guys need and how to make it more comfortable and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I've been really focusing on, like, how can we all get on a Zoom call and yeah and interact? And, and I want to build the team atmosphere here more. Mm-hmm. Even though we do a really, like, if I look at other brands around the world. It does the a industry, phenomenal job. We all do a great job, I believe, Um, between meet and greets and coming to the house. Like, how many Mm -hmm. guys came to the house this week? Oh, eight, eight, nine, something like that. So, like, I love that, but I want to make sure everyone, even, because we do have different calibers of athletes as far as popularity, I guess. Yeah. Just, like, following. Mm -hmm. Um, Influence. Influence. Yeah. Good. And um, I want to try to get everyone together to help everybody. And that's, that's my ultimate goal. Like, So we all grow. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Mm-hmm. And again, that's why the loyalty aspect is so important. We want to make sure that you guys are all like a family together. Yeah. Where do you so. see a uh, rise being like five years from now? Besides the biggest brand in the world? <laughs> Besides the biggest brand in Besides the world. Besides the biggest brand in the world. Um, so we're doing a lot of these licensed products. I think we're going to shake up the industry in terms of um, first done things. Yeah. Um, I'm working on a license for a movie. Oh. Um, yeah. Cool movie. It's not going to be corny like Star Wars on Pepsi, but it's the yeah. similar concept mm-hmm. if you've seen that. Um, so a lot of things, we're just going to be the first to market on a lot so, of things. So not like an actual film movie? No, it or, is a movie. Oh. But it's not like Star Wars. It's Oh, oh like okay. You, it, yeah. it is a movie that's going to go on our product, like how Star Wars is on Pepsi. Have you seen those before? Okay, Where they yes. Have? Okay, so um, we incorporated like a, a character that is going to be a flavor yes. into a product. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, big, 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 big movie. Yeah. They did like a study, like 98% of the whole population can point out the logo. So wow. it's that big. Wow. Um, yeah. Like, so... A lot of industry firsts. Yeah. Um, the gym, I want to expand our gym. Mm-hmm. Um, Will people be able to come to that? So there's only 250 memberships. Uh, okay. We're going to have an app. Um, yeah. So there's not more than 20 at once. Mm-hmm. And all of our athletes can work out first. Yeah. Because uh, it's mostly a content gym. but For sure. That's most important to me. And then there'll be drop-in. Like yeah. People can drop in if you're here in Dallas. You can mm-hmm. kind of hop in. But I want to expand that. And like this is just the first. Like... This Still is, young company, yeah, only it's, four years. It's our first. Like, that's basically like what Rise can do in the time that's already been yeah, going. Yeah, and if you look at it, like the first few years, you kind of like lay the groundwork for a company. Yeah, like don't expect to come out swinging and, and make a huge brand because a you need capital. So we hold. If you look in our warehouse, we hold a lot of products for sure. Um, so. Like now we're kind of the stage where we can like make impacts mm-hmm. versus just growing our inventory. 
and trying to build that aspect. It's more like, all right, let's work on branding. Yeah. Let's work on a gym where our athletes can come in and shoot content. Let's work mm-hmm. on licensed flavors, collaborations. Let's get – so that's – you're going to see a lot of cool stuff coming out in the next, I would say, even six months. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff. Awesome. Yeah. What do you think the uh, hardest part about starting up Rise was? So, the, the you know, I didn't – the first two years or year and a half, I didn't pay myself a cent. Wow. Yeah. So I, I was building this brand. Um you know, I was fortunate enough to sell my other company, mm-hmm. but I poured a lot of money into... Reinvested. Yep. I poured a lot into Rise, um, and I paid, you know, a lot of other people to help grow it with me. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of good and a lot of bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of course. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, just working every day at something that you don't know if it's going to make it mm-hmm. was the hardest part for me, especially like... Not only did I have all my money in, yeah, but I was literally dedicated my life, not taking a cent. Mm-hmm. It was just very hard. It was hard on my family. Yeah, uh, we had a. Did you, know, you have kids back? Yeah, yeah, four yeah. years ago. Yeah, you had, had kids too. Um, wow, you know we had to um, sacrifice a lot, mm-hmm. like no new car, like none of that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and, and I was a pr- I was a successful businessman prior to rise. Yeah. Um, high paying jobs and stuff like that. And, um, so it was hard, but, um, so if anyone's, you know, there's probably a lot of people on here that want to start a company. Yeah. A lot of entrepreneurs. Um, it's don't think you just start a company and you make money. Mm -hmm. Like you, you don't, you have to reinvest. Um, if you reinvest to the point where you can get a warehouse, you got to get a warehouse. When you get a warehouse, you got to get employees Mm -hmm. to run that warehouse. Uh, you got to get inventory management systems. You got to have somebody run that inventory. So it's always advancing your company. Yeah. Um, until the point until you can pay yourself. And even to this day, like I don't, I'm not a CEO that pays himself millions of dollars. Yeah. I reinvest everything I can in this company to make it the best company we can. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's, you know, that's, uh, that's my biggest advice for that. I think, I think that's a powerful story. And like, it, I honestly, that's a good place to, Call it right there, yeah. unless you've got anything else you want to talk about. No, nah, rise the fuck up. No, <laughs> <laughs> rise uh, up, baby. If you want any of these products listed right here, Code Jake, Code Jake saves you fifteen percent. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next podcast. Yeah.